Evernote versus Apple Notes, which is better note taking app guide plus tutorial. Hi there, you guys. In this video, I will be talking about Evernote and uh, its Apple counterpart, Apple Notes. Unfortunately, I don't have any access to Apple Notes, but I have read a couple of reviews and I have also used it before on a device. Uh, it's an iPad, but recently on a PC, I don't have any experience using the application, but I do have a couple of uh, research about it and comparing to Evernote, which is what I have been using lately, and compared to its uh, Apple counterpart, this one is a lot more overwhelming compared to the simple and vibe yeah simple vibe of the apple notes but both are really worth to check it out they're really worth and they're really capable of the job but it really depends on um what you're taking notes for i would say that first of all and yes if we're talking about note taking Evernote is one of the oldest note-taking software out there and the majority uses the software as file cabinet to keep notes, documents, web clippings, and more. And as for Apple users, Apple Notes is the default option for them. That's right. And which, I mean, with each iteration of iOS and macOS, Apple is adding more features to the Notes app. So if you are getting confused about those two apps, then you have come to the right video. Apple Notes is focusing more on simplicity, more than, uh, yeah, while Evernote weighs on organization and features. And each software has its pros and cons as well. And you might find, by the way, some, some of it might be a con for someone else, but actually might be a pro for someone. It really depends on what you're trying to use it for. Now, I'm going to be talking about the, the cross-platform availability first. Of course, the answer for this one is obvious for uh, when you're talking about the Apple Notes. Unfortunately, it's a good one. But the thing is, you will only find Apple apps at a disadvantage here. You know, Apple Notes is only available on iOS, iPadOS, and macOS. But Evernote is accessible everywhere including iOS, Android, Windows, macOS, and iPad. So you shouldn't have to worry about it at all. But the user interface here, um, I've also heard and read a lot of reviews about how they've updated Evernote, but I'm not sure if it actually pleased its new or its old subscribers, but both the apps now follow the standard standard design elements of for a notes app. Yes, that's true. That's obvious when you're going to look at or compare both apps side by side. But the thing is, um, starting with Apple Notes, it offers all the notebook folders on the left pane and notes on the right side. And the only one element that bothers me in um, Apple Notes is that part but the formatting bar remains at the top and there is no way to hide it as well but Evernote looks and feels better to me um, I think the software uh, yeah the, the fact that the software uses like a sidebar a dark, a dark sidebar and uh, everything that you need comes in that sidebar and you can just open modules and like its Apple counterpart, it looks like this, of course. It's Apple's interface. It's Apple's UI. You basically cannot do anything about it. But it's simple. It's direct to the point. And you can already see you can immediately all of the notes, all of the topics, basically the things that have in common right here on this list. Yes. And this is how Evernote site. What so it looks like, but anyway, going back to the list I have here, let's talk about the notes organization. How both of these works. Um, this is essential, you guys, right? Notes is organization because it might break or it might make or break the decision for which app to use. But after a couple of months, you're going to fill up the software with hundreds of notes, right? So it's essential to find the relevant note quickly and efficiently, and 
um apple notes starting with apple notes it's yeah, yeah okay the software allows you to create multiple notebooks that's a good thing but you can create sub notebooks inside it as well and unfortunately there is no way to tag a note and find it using the added tag that's why obsidian and uh, another note taking app which already i which i have a video on comes into play those are you know the new revolutionary note taking apps but every note shines when it comes to the notes organization you guys and this is because you can create notebooks yep you can create notebooks and even add multiple tags to note for a better organizational structure adding tags is also one of the best features of Evernote yep and I hope Apple notes and OneNote take inspiration from that fact and what about its north I mean note editor I think I'm gonna we we're gonna be talking about the note and the search I hope we have more time but for the note editor you guys um, Evernote right here yeah I mean Apple notes is offering limited options when it comes to editing a note compared to Evernote where where you can actually um, treat it like a full-fledged document editor with dozens of editing options you can choose from various font styles sizes and even colors as well but Apple notes is of course offering limited options when it comes to editing a note um, there's really not much to do with it that's why I prefer Evernote over I mean over Apple on that aspect and on that part I always like my stuff or my projects to be like customizable as, as much as possible all right next uh, on our list is the search right here how does searching works for each of the app both the Evernote and Apple notes offer search functions you guys and Evernote is one step ahead as it lets you search within image text too while Apple notes on the other hand enjoys close integration with Mac OS of course that's going to be obvious and that's going to be like um, a common place for Apple notes and Mac OS to be in sync with each other to do this of course you can just simply use the command function or the command keys that are dedicated for it for e for each of the function but for this one you can just use command plus space keys and then open spotlight search and start searching for notes within apple notes for the sharing and extension part this one yep with apple notes you can invite others to make changes to the notes and folders and uh, for the evernote it lets you directly share a file through email so totally two different things right so which one of these note-taking apps is I mean are you looking forward to try but if you have tried them before why are you like hesitating to choose the other over the other or maybe if you're I, I, I a user and you're maybe I don't know why you're in this video but yeah that's it for this video guys I hope to see you again on the next one peace out